Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, and six. Today I will be telling you about the budget cuts that Texas is currently facing. The state of Texas is undergoing a severe budget cut in many different aspects. And who are these aspect or who are these budget cuts affecting the most, you might ask? You will be su surprised by the answer. The answer is public education. Education in Texas is being cut short with little notice and is causing a huge controversy all over the state. It's happening all over Texas, but I will be focusing more on the local school districts in Houston about how it's affecting the teachers, but most of all the students. Before I go more into detail, I'll be explaining why this is actually happening in the first place. The lawmakers of the state of Texas are trying to solve ways that will help the budget and tax raising crisis we are currently facing. The biggest effect of this budget is that the state can no longer provide money for the, for the public education that they are currently giving everyone. However, to make sure taxes and, how, and to make sure the taxes don't rise, they have decided to make a huge amount of budget cuts amongst education and taxes. I found on a website called www.impactnews.com that Texas Governor Rick Perry is calling for a $10 billion budget cut against education within the next two years. For the Cy Fair Independent School District alone in Houston, that would call for a 65 to $116 million dollar revenue shortfall each year until the 2013 school year. Included in this revenue fall is a state reduction involving taxes and expenditure cuts. Here I have made a chart for you to show you the exact chart of what the revenue shortfall will look like between the 2011 and 2013 school year. And you can see that in the 2011 and 2012 school year, the revenue shortfall will be at $15,930,000. And by the time the 2012-2013 school year is over with, it will only be at $5,803,000. Concluding this information, it is estimated that nearly 2,500 teachers will have to be cut alone in the Cy Fair Independent School District just to meet this budget cost. This is even faculty members were warned of this, and even though they are still surprised at how many cuts they are actually having to make. There has been a small amount of people who say this will not be as bad as it sounds, but what those people aren't thinking of is how exactly this will affect the children in their future. There are many issues that keep coming up about what will happen to schools if everything that is being said actually follows through. One thing that keeps coming up is how will the children learn if this many teachers are having to be cut. The answer is simple. The children will still have their daily routine at their normal school. However, the only difference for them will be their classroom size. I have made another chart for you that shows the exact size of the classrooms and how they will, are expecting to be changed. As of the right now, the school year, there, will, there is a teacher to student ratio, and that ratio is one teacher per 20 to 22 students. And by the 2013 school year, there should be one teacher to 25 to 30 students. And how parents are this is causing many a lot of fear in p parents' eyes because they are wondering how their children are going to learn if they're not getting as much one-on-one -on -one time with their teachers if classrooms are going to be this big. Parents have so many questions, however, Texas cannot give them any answers. Even with it just being the beginning, there have already been rallies going on about making these budget cuts stop. The biggest one yet has been the Austin Capitol. Parents, teachers, faculty members, and even students showed up to make sure that their thoughts on the budget cuts mainly about education, were being noticed. It was stated that the rally, the people in the rallies were chanting, they say cut back, we say fight back. All the rallies made it clear that they, were, they did not think that the state of Texas was giving them and the public education the justice that they deserved. People not just in Houston, but all over Texas have been trying to ask, why can't they just use the rainy day fund to help stop these budget cuts amongst education? The rainy day fund is a savings fund that allows states to set aside excess revenue excess revenue for an emerge for in case of emergencies just as this one. Parents and teachers just want justice, not only for themselves, but for the children and how this will affect their future. Everyone is trying to vent, prevent the worst from happening, but only time will tell with the effects of the, budget, of the severe budget cuts. Education is something that every child needs, but the future holds no promises to how this budget cut is going to affect the children and their education.